Hey, how's it going everyone? MLT Magic Tricks here. So today I'm going to be giving you a performance and tutorial for this really powerful card trick that is going to get some great reactions from your audience. I would start this one off by showing my spectator we are going to be using the four jacks for the trick. What we're going to do here is take uh, the four jacks. We're just going to place them face down on the table. We will get back to them a little bit later. Right now, I would have my spectator call stop anywhere as I riffle down the side of the deck. Let's say they call stop right here. I would tell them we're going to separate uh, the deck here where they called stop. We're going to take a look at the card, in this case, the nine of hearts. We're simply going to reverse it. We're just going to turn it over. We're going to out jog the nine of hearts, and we're going to place it in our pile of four jacks. So now we should have a total of five cards. You can see we have one, two, three, four, and five cards here. Now what I'm going to do is imagine taking out that nine of hearts from our pack, turning it face up, and inserting it into the middle of the deck. So we're going to see if I actually made that happen. If I snap my fingers here, spread out these cards, you will see we have one, two, three, and four cards only. These are the four jacks that we started with. Now we're going to go to the deck. I'm going to spread out the cards and you will see that nine of hearts is face up right in the middle. So guys, that is the card trick. I hope you liked it. If you want to learn how to perform it, make sure you stick around for the tutorial. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that performance. This is a really awesome card trick that is going to truly impress your spectators. So grab your deck of cards and let's get right into the tutorial. This is a no setup trick. So you can begin with your spectator shuffling the deck and then you're gonna ask for the cards back and tell them you're going to take out four of a kind. I recommend you choose four face cards with the same value in the performance. You know, I just chose the four jacks and to save some time, I have them right here on top. But once again, you can begin with these cards in the middle, have your spectator shuffle, and then you go ahead and locate them and bring them right here to the top. You're gonna to spread them out and tell your spectator uh, that you're going to be using the four jacks for this trick. As you square up the cards, you're going to need to get a pinky break below the top three cards here. So I have this break and then you're going to lift off these three cards. And as you do that, you're going to be turning your wrist over, placing the rest of the deck down on the table because you need to conceal the fact that you have one of the face cards right here on top of the deck. So the move is quite simple. Just you're turning your wrist over like that and tell your spectator, okay, we have the four jacks here. We're gonna place them down on the table, but in reality, you have three. Keep them very square. Place these off to the side and you're ready to proceed. You're going to pick up the deck, tell your spectator, you're gonna have them call stop wherever they like as you riffle down the side. Now this works best if they call stop somewhere in the middle. So kind of just slow down as you get into the middle here, have them call stop. You're gonna tell them, okay, we're gonna lift up from where you called stop. And we're gonna take a look at the card. In this case, it is the nine of hearts. Now uh, with the uh, deck here, you're going to take the top portion, move it over to the left a little bit. And what you need to do is slide over the face card that you have here on the bottom so it's kind of lined up with this top pile. So the exposed view looks like this. You're going to be using your four fingers and you're going to be pushing the card over like this. So you can see it's lined up now with this top pile and you're going to be doing that under the cover of your hand. So this is how it's gonna look. You're just really casually pushing it over. Then you're going to take out the middle portion of cards here and tell them, okay, we're going to go ahead and reverse this nine of hearts. Now you can see here, this is the grip I have. I have a break, a thumb break separating the rest of these cards from the jack of spades. You're turning the nine over and then you're bringing the um, rest of the pack directly on top. As you do that, you're dropping off that jack of spades. So you're releasing the thumb break like that. It's gonna happen very quick. And you're gonna tell your spectator, okay, I'm going to out jog that nine of hearts. But in reality, you're out jogging the jack of spades and you have the nine of hearts face down right below it. So this is probably the most difficult move in the trick. It may require a little bit of practice at first, but once you get it down, it's really not that bad. So you're turning it over the nine of hearts. You're dropping off the jack like this. And at the same time, you're out jogging it up. Your spectator really thinks this is that nine. You're going to take it out, tell them, okay, we have the nine of hearts here. Once again, it's the jack, keep it face down. Tell them, okay, we're gonna place it on top of our four jacks. Then you're gonna take the rest of the deck and just place it down on the table. And you can see here now you're set up with the rest of the deck because you have the nine of hearts reversed in the middle. So. From here, you need to deal with the cards that you have on the table. You need to convince your spectator that these are five cards, 
but in reality, you have four. So you're going to do this move. It's quite simple. You're going to uh, place your thumb on the bottom, four fingers on top. You're going to slide over the first card and tell them, okay, we have one. And then as you're sliding off the, the next card here, you're going to bring this first card you slid off back into the pile and it's going to happen very quickly. Here's what it looks like in slow motion. So you're going to tell your spectator, okay, we should have, you know, five cards here and you're just going to count to reassure them that, that you do have five. So you have one slow motion. You're bringing it back over two, three, four, and five. You're counting that first card twice. But if you do that quickly, like how I did it in the performance, it really will look like you have five cards. So it's going to look something like this. You say, okay, we have one, two, three, four, and five. Practice that. Make sure you get it down because you really want to convince your spectator you have five cards at this point. You're going to tell them, okay, what I'm going to do here is imagine taking out the nine of hearts from our pack, turning it face up, and inserting it into the middle of the deck. You can snap your fingers, wave your hands over the cards, do whatever you want to, reveal that you only have four cards here, and you're gonna show them they are the four jacks that you started with. You can just place them right here off to the side. Then you go to the deck, spread out the cards, and you will show them that the nine of hearts is in fact face up right in the middle. They will be really blown away. This does have a great effect. So definitely practice this one. Make sure you get it down before you go out and perform it. But once you uh, get all of the moves uh, practiced, you will be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this card trick, guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next one. Peace out.